HGTV Handmade. This week on Handmade is a little different from usual because we are doing the thrift store challenge. Basically, each of us have to go to our own local thrift store and pick up a piece of furniture or a home decor item and then upcycle it into something beautiful. There's no dollar limit and there are no winners and losers. This is just a challenge for us to see how well we can redecorate a pre-owned piece of home decor and maybe give you guys some inspiration to do the same thing. So I decided to go to the BTS thrift store, which is the same one that Mr. Kate went to in her Mr. Sister series. Hi everyone, so I am here in Culver City to do the thrift store challenge. I'm heading to my favorite thrift store. It is so freaking hot out here. It's the middle of February and it's like at least 85 degrees. It is seriously one of the coolest thrift stores in Los Angeles. It is huge. They have so much stuff from clothing to furniture to kitchenware to books to creepy porcelain rabbits and frog candlesticks. I spent a lot of time looking at the dishes and the kitchenware to see if I could figure out how to make something out of those. Also because I was going somewhere after my trip to the thrift store so I couldn't get anything that was too big. I also thought about getting a picture frame, but I wasn't exactly sure what I would do with that, or this grandfather clock, which would have been awesome, but I don't think my roommate would have been too happy about that. I also really loved all of the chandeliers, but they were all really expensive, and also I do not know how to hang a chandelier. I definitely had my eye on these gold-rimmed goblets. How gorgeous are those? But I didn't want to DIY them. I just wanted to own them. And then finally I moved on to lamps and among some very strange lamp bases, I found this gorgeous candlestick. At least I think it's a candlestick. There's nowhere to put wiring for a lamp. But either way, I thought that I could turn it into a really nice jewelry display. So I bought this for $35, and then I also got this little plate for $3, and I thought that I would glue it right on top to make a little holder for rings and bracelets. You ready to get started? Let's get started. So let's just take a look at what we're starting with. Obviously, these dusty old crystals have got to go, especially since two of them are missing. Beyond being dusty, the paint is actually in decent shape, but it looks pretty rustic and I want to go for a more modern feel, so I will be painting it. I just love all of the decorative details though, and I think it's a really unique piece, which is what thrift store shopping is all about. So the first step was to remove the crystals and the rusty old jump rings. I'm going to throw out the jump rings, but once I cleaned off the crystals with a damp cloth, they actually looked so much better, so I'm definitely going to be saving those for another project. So once all of the crystals were taken off, off, it already looked so much better. But before we get to painting, I just went ahead and cleaned off all of the dust with a damp paper towel. So after that, I used E6000 to glue the plate onto the top. This was pretty easy, I just bent down and looked underneath to try to get it as centered as possible. So now to hold the necklaces, I bought some S-hooks, but they ended up being a little bit too big to fit into the holes, and I didn't want to break the whole thing by trying to make the holes any bigger. So instead, I used some wire that I already had and bent it into hooks, which aren't completely even, but once they're covered in necklaces, you won't really be able to tell. Moving outside, I spray painted all of the hooks gold because I'm going for a white and gold theme here. And then I spray painted the candlestick white with a super glossy white paint because I want the color to be even all over, and I think making it glossy will help it look a little more modern. So the paint actually took several coats to cover all of the imperfections, and when I brought it inside, it didn't actually look great because the base and the plate were completely different shades of white. However, after letting it dry overnight, I guess the paint finished curing, and in the morning it looked so good. It's really glossy and one uniform shade of white, so I'm just really happy with how the paint turned out. So then I just reattached all of the hooks, which are now gold. I'll probably want to replace these at some point with something a little more uniform looking and stronger, but the wire will work for now because none of my necklaces are all that heavy. And then for one finishing touch, I used some gold gilding paint on the rim of the plate. It looks a little messy on camera, but it came out so much neater on the parts where I wasn't leaning around my tripod to do it. So after letting the gold paint 
paint dry, our jewelry holder is finished. I moved it onto my desk and loaded up the top with rings and bracelets. And then I untangled this mess of necklaces that have been like that since I moved, and I hung those up on the hooks. So I think this came out so cute, and it's so nice to be able to see all of my jewelry all in one place. It also goes great with these little gold rim dishes that I got for a dollar each at the same thrift store. I definitely still have a lot of work to do getting my new room decorated and everything in place, but I'm so happy with how this came out, and it was such a fun challenge. So let me know in the comments how would you have upcycled this type of decorative candlestick, or have you ever gone to a thrift store and bought some furniture and repurposed it in some way? I'm so excited to see how all of the other girls are going to be upcycling their thrift store pieces all week long, so make sure you stay tuned. And just a reminder, this is not a competition, it's just a challenge for us, and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration out of it too. So if you liked the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up, and also click subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye everyone!